Okay, this tutorial is going to continue um, the uh, lesson on um, subnetting and why it's important to know binary. And um, I'm going to just uh, keep rolling out with that and uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, we eventually want to get to my uh, idea on the magic number, which is not original, but the uh, magic number idea with Cisco subnetting will greatly help you with your CCNA goal. So. Um, here I've got an IP address 192.168.3.55 IP version uh, 4 address and oftentimes in the CCNA you'll see it spelled like this with like a slash 24 right so 192.168.3.55 well right off the bat what does that mean well what the slash 24 is it's a shorthand for the subnet mask or the net mask which in this case would be 255.255.255 .0, okay? And why is this um, 24? Why does that relate to the, this? Well, these right here are uh, octets, okay? So each octet is 8 bits um, in length. So if we were to, to write out 255.255.255.0 in binary, it would look like this. And it would be, uh, there's the first octet, there's the second octet, third octet, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it goes right off the page, so I'm going to make the font smaller, so you can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so there it is. So, and it wouldn't, of course, be all ones at the end, it would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so, um, sorry about that. So, 255.255.255.0 in binary is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 1s, and then 1s, and then zeros. And if you were to count up all these 1s, there are 24 1s. So there's where the slash 24 comes in. Okay, 24 1s and um, 8 zeros. So, and uh, the way this works out is um, the process of, uh, the, the reason this is important to understand is that the process of finding the network is done by the router and the router uses when it does it it uses a um, process called anding um, which is essentially relates to logic uh, truth tables and uh, we'll talk about that right now so what the router was going to do if the router gets this IP address right here and this subnet mask what it does is it logically ands right and logically ands the IP address with the subnet mask to find the network. So in this case, I'm going to write out now the um, IP address. So 192 is this. All right, that's 192. 128 bit plus the 64 bit makes 192. Remember, this is place values, right? So for every eight binary bits like this in a numeral, you've got the 128's place, 64's place, 32's place, 16's place, 8's place, 4's place, two's place and the one's place or two to the zero two to the one two to the two two to the three two to the four two to the five two to the six and two to the seven okay so there's 192 right this one is in the 128's place right here this one is in the 64's place right here if you add those two together you get 192 so this is the number 192 written in binary and then 168, well, this is how you do it. You say, do I need a 128? Yes, 128. Do I need a 64? No. Do I need a 32? Yes. 128 plus 32 is 160, right? So I don't need a 16-bit, but I do need an 8-bit. And now I have the number um, 168 in binary. 128 plus 32 is 160 plus 8 is one, one, um, 168. All right, now the number three, that's pretty easy. Zero, 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 right? And then four, two, one, so four. No, I don't need a four, I need a two and a one. Okay, there we go, that's the number three. And then the number 55, that's going to be zero, zero, one. And then 32 plus 16 is 48, so I need another one, right? 48 uh, plus eight is 56, so that's not it. And so then I'll need the rest here. And that's 55. Let's let's count it up and see if I did that correctly. 32 plus 16 is 48. That's 52, 54, and 55. That's correct. So here we have the number uh, 
55 in binary and the subnet mask down below in binary. And so now we're going to do a, um, a logical anding. And logical anding goes back to logic. And I'll see if I can bring some the proper symbols up. Let's go to Wikipedia. And just really quickly, let's see here. Go to Google. Okay. Logical and, right? Logical conjunction. Just look it up very quickly in Wikipedia and bring it up. And here it is. Here's the truth table in Wikipedia. The truth table of P and Q. So if if P and Q, then um, this. So if P is true and Q is true, then you have a truth. If P is true and Q is false, you have a false. If P is false and Q is true, you have a false. And if P is false and Q is false, then you have a false, right? Well, with um, binary, with Boolean logic, um, George Boole uh, changed the true ins and false, is basically, or proposed that we use the numbers. So instead of um, instead of true and false, you would have um, you know applications in computer programming. So instead of true and false, you have if false and false, zero and zero equals zero. False and a false makes a false. A false and a one makes a false. A, a true and a false. A one is stands for true. True and a false makes a false. And a true and a true equals a true. So we apply that logic here. And what I'll do is underline this. And we go below to find the network. So all the computer does is logically ands these numbers together to find the network. So one and a one, right? A true and a true makes a true, right? And I won't underline this. And then a true and a true makes a true. And then a false and a true makes a false. False and a true makes a false. And so on and so forth. OK, and then you'll see here that on the next octet, a true and a true makes a true. And a false and a true and a false and a true. False, false, false. So that's 192, 168. And then we get to the next octet. And we've got the same logic happening here. OK. And so far, we find out that what we have in decimal form is 192.168.3. And now when we get to this last octet right here, notice these are all zeros. So everything, 0 and a 0 makes a 0, 0 and a 0 makes a 0, a true and a false makes a 0. So everything's going to be 0 here. And so we find out that the network is uh, 192.168.3.0. Okay, that is the network that the router is going to route to, and so this is the process of how we take um, the binary. Why it's important to understand how binary works, because the routers in Cisco CCNA essentially what happens is the router takes the IP address right here and ands it logically ands it with the um, subnet mask or the net mask to find the network. And in this case, it's very easy. It's 192.168.3 network. Now, a lot of people just know this instinctively, and this is really great. Um, and everything works out fine until somebody comes up with a subnet mask like this and turns this to 28. So now it's slash 28. And now it's 255.255.255. And slash 28 would turn into uh, a 240. So you have a funny subnet mask now with a 255.255.255.240, and you've got to solve the same problem. And that's where it becomes difficult, and that's where the magic number comes in handy as well, which I'll talk about in the next uh, tutorial.